I've sunk an enemy destroyer. To be assembled to the ocean's hold, still the colony is stories untold. Swift as the wind, let battles begin. I got strong now, designed to win. Druid guardian of the sea, whispering waves set her free. With a heart that never yields, master of Hey team, this is Ripper. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the Druid with a also help addition, a Ragnar. And man, when you put these two ships together, how powerful is this uh, this uh, coupling here? So, but anyway, before we begin, like, subscribe, open below. If you see value in the channel, help us out by uh, growing our community at 4,000 subs. We're going to do another premium giveaway. And I can't thank you guys enough for making this a great place to share ideas, have fun, and learn something at the same time. So let's get right to it. Hey, the Druid and, of course, the Dreaded Aircraft Carrier. We're going to go ahead and turn on our AA because I can shoot down, a, hopefully, a spotter plane. Hopefully, this CV rework will be a little bit better on us. But as you can see, we're not too afraid. Of, actually, Druid surprisingly has decent, uh, you know, better than a Shimakaze AA, but uh, it's it's okay. It's 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 something that can really um, just kind of ward off simple fighters, but uh, you don't want to stick around too too long. Now we'll, we'll look at my positioning here. Why do I not want to push into Charlie? Now here's a good tip for uh, destroyer players. First of all, you want to hit the tab button and take a look at what are you going up against. Well, one, I'm going up with another druid. I don't want to play with him right off the bat. Z52, I don't want to play with him either because he has a six kilometer hydro. All he has to do is literally sit, come to a dead stop, pop his smoke, pop the six kilometer hydro, and he can spot me well within six kilometers and I can't do anything back to him because my hydro only goes after three. So six bigger than three, you don't want to play with that. See, he just smoked up right there. So there we were right. If we had gone into Charlie Cap and tried to want gone one on one with a Z fifty two with an Annapolis sitting in the back behind an island and a Columbo off in the distance and providing no support whatsoever. We're not going to do it. So as a destroyer player, I've learned that, you know, you have to actually look at your teammate, look at your uh, opposition and figure out where am I going to be the safest and where can I maximize my firepower? Because right there, I was three versus one with my Annapolis combo not supporting me at all. I've noticed in this game, you guys, you guys know who you are. You're sitting in the back, not supporting your destroyers, and you're not doing anything for your team and you're just hiding behind islands. That's not going to help you uh, get better, first of all. I mean, I'm here to help you guys get better. Sitting in the back. Hiding behind islands does not make you a better player. It just makes you worse, relying upon something that you cannot move. You can't move an island. And second, and, and the third thing is you're not helping your destroyer players out, which really are the key component of the game. All right, so you know what? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to find another destroyer player, and I'm going to go ahead and team up with the Ragnar, because the Ragnar is probably the best uh, suitable um, weapon system out there to go with the Druid. It's got the radar, it's got big caliber guns, and it can really do some hate. So right now, here we go. We spot the Z-52 with the power of the Ragnar. We're not afraid. If he pops smoke, then we have the radar from the Ragnar to spot him. So I've got um, heavy AP shells with maximum firepower fearless brawl on this uh, Druid build. So build will be at the end of the video. I elected not to do su superintendent or survivability because I just want to focus on rapid fire gun power. Look at that. We got a 1.5 what a 1.5-ish second reload, which is exactly all I need right now. And look at the amount of firepower we're dishing out right there. And we get it. Boom. First Bloods. And that is splash one of many kills today. And again, we're just playing this methodical role as what are we supposed to do? Hierarchy is kill the destroyer player. You kill the destroyers on their team, you are more likely to win the game, increasing probability maximum. Next one is Radar Cruisers. Riga is a radar cruiser. We want to eliminate him best we can, so we're going to go ahead and slam on the brakes in a minute here, throw, try to throw off his shots. Meanwhile, we're also drawing fire, which means he's not firing at any of my teammates, which is good, but look what these heavy AP shells can do to the broadside of a Riga right there. Look at that. He just literally can't do anything. I don't care about fires at this point. I just want raw, pure, just methodical, constant left clicking, and boom, splash two. Second kill in the first five minutes of the game, and there is the game whole entire Charlie flank, and we pretty much won when we get a battleship to run on the corner, which they naturally do anyways. We're going to go ahead and push the objective and cap points like we always do. We spot, we cap, we kill destroyers. We've done everything that a destroyer player is supposed to do, and then now we're going to do is go back to the center cap. Why do I not chase Vincent? It's a, He's already out of the game. 
he's worthless okay so we're gonna go to a, a place where we are deemed more important and right here we spot the other druid which is good because we don't want to have a fair fight we we're gonna go two versus one when we go two versus one you can see the outcome here we get maximum firepower maximum damage and then we also mitigate the damage off of our ship as well to survive the long run as a destroyer player you want to survive the long run and this is exactly what we're doing here he goes. Druid is unable to do anything. Knocked out all his guns and boom, he goes down. Druid getting radared by everybody and that's why we want to hang out with radar destroyers and radar cruisers. So right off the bat, we secured Charlie. Bravo. At this point, it's just mopping up on aisle 69 and uh, we've got the Vincent off in the back. We're not going to worry too much. And look, a good, look how good of a destroyer player we're going to do. We are going to literally help our destroyer player out by smoking him up and cover, making him cover and having him the ability to fire from cover. And that is exactly what a good teammate's supposed to do. Selfless destroyers win games. You support your teammates, you will also reap the reward and benefits from working together as a team. So I'm going to cover the northern sector here, or sorry, the south uh, to the Ragnar. Make sure he doesn't get shot out by the St. Vincent, which is good. And we're going to join in on the fun. We're going to go ahead and shoot the Vermont. Now watch the 66,000 HP going ahead and getting melted by two destroyers firing from the flanks here. We got Ragnar shooting uh, HE. We also got our heavy AP shells. And watch his HP take a next level down uh, floor all the way to ground level here because we're going to send him to the bottom of the ocean. Next stop the ocean bottom here and it is literally you know, we're watching him melt look at that 16,000 all the way down all the way down and all the way and boom he goes down and that is another good kill for our team look at that our team is actually moving together and working together and that's exactly what you want to inspire as a good destroyer player because destroyers are leaders and we have to lead from the front and inspire others to follow suit Next threat, what's well, going probably going to be the Austin. St. Vincent is probably still behind the island there, so we'll go ahead and speed this up. So let's see, again, driving in formation is also a great aspect. I mean, you know, strength and numbers, right? You want to also maintain distance, not to get torpedoed or bumped into somebody, but you also want to maintain close enough proximity where you can smoke up your teammate and also provide un, uh, un, uh, un overwhelming firepower and support because if you two guys are shooting, two destroyers are shooting, this Austin won't know who to shoot at. He's going to get confused. I mean, natural human behavior is when you get overwhelmed, your senses go, oh my gosh, there's I gotta shoot at him. Every player wants to shoot a destroyer. And I'm taking advantage of this weakness of human beings to go, like, oh, shiny object, let me fire. And look, he doesn't know what to shoot at. He's going, oh my God, I'm getting shot by the Ragnar, I'm getting shot by the Druid, and I don't know what to do. And because you don't know what to do, you suffer and you pay the price. Look, he switches targets. He should have just kept focusing on one because you keep your indecisiveness will lead to death. I mean, I'm, trust me, as an instructor and evaluator, I've always taught students and everybody, hey, Splash 3, if you are indecisive about any decision in life, especially when it comes to aviation or flying or military, you will pay the price and suffer and die. So many people I've seen die because of in, indecisiveness and made very, very big flaws as well. Uh, having those problems. So again, as a player, as anything in life, even in just in gener generic life lessons here, make a decision, stick with it, and own up to the consequences rather than being indecisive and you have no idea what you're doing and you're just sitting there um, not making a decision and you ultimately end up dead. So right here, we're going to make a decision. We're going to cover our Ragnar's flank. We're going to go ahead and open up on the St. Vincent right here. And look, ooh, our team is still dying. That's not good. So we're going to kill the St. Vincent here. Check our six. Make sure nobody's firing at us. Always know your surroundings. I look at the minimap. I'm looking. Mashashi was a big threat, but he's behind an island. And we take a quick free look. Look back. Nobody's there. We're going to go ahead and open water gunboat, which is maximizes our DPM. Fearless Brawler active here. And let's see if he takes a shot at us. There you go. Hey, if he hits us, we get adrenaline rush and we get a boost to our reload. So let's see how much. Man, we are taking a lot of chunks of HP right here. I'm off this every second. He's just losing 390, 390, 390. You know what? At overtime, pays in dividends. So let's see here right now. We pop the smoke to go ahead and mask our position right now so we can mitigate damage because we want to survive as long as we can. And man, these heavy AP shells are doing a wonder on the St. Vincent. Next stop, a ground floor for his HP. And let's see if we can take it down, clean up on L69 here and mop uh, the whole thing up. And he is now distracted by the Ragnar who's firing. And unfortunately, he is just gonna pay the price as well. Let's see if we take him out. And boom, there it is. He goes down, way to go, Ragnar. Ragnar together working as a team. Look at that, Ragnar and Druid have three and two kills. And now our next victim will be the Musashi. Musashi is very nice, it's like the Yamato. Big, juicy chunks of ship that just love absorbing this AP. And I just love, this is very therapeutic for me, just watching this HP just melt right off of them. And you're just watching him getting shot at. And just the AP is just sinking right into his broadside chunky hole. And again, anywhere I shoot in the central area is going to just 
just deal wonderful nice damage right there and totally awesome and let's see if we can get snag this kill right here can we get it yeah oh that, that damage over time will pay off Columbo takes a hit from summary oh no and there it is splash four and I, oh my gosh i looked up and splash four holy cow we can get a kraken that's when i realized let's go ahead and throttle balls of the wall let's go for the Columbo and try to take this guy out before the game is over so let's go ahead and speed it up here let's get into position so i'm going to nose in with the druid once I nose in, mitigate my slim pro too thick profile. And now, I'm not sure why he's not looking at us, so that's good. He's looking at a bigger, juicier target like the Annapolis, so we're going to take advantage of this. We're going to just pile a bunch of H or AP shells right into his superstructure, dealing and giving us wonderful, nice, chunky damage. And right now, he's in his smoke, but don't worry, it's to little avail because eventually his smoke will run out. So it looks like our team's mopping it everything up, and here we go. Can we secure the crack? And Clausewitz goes down. Way to go, teammate, right there. And here is the finale. Let's see if we can nail it in. Boom, splash five, Kraken unleashed. And that is the game, ladies and gentlemen. Working together with the Ragnar, Ragnar Druid. Try it out, guys. If you guys haven't, uh, you know, happen to have those two ships, work together, work, communicate as a team. Teamwork makes a dream work. And it's totally, totally powerful. A very, very strong duo. And I can't uh, appreciate it enough. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bill will be at the end of the video. As always, thank you guys for the uh, support. And if you want to be part of the team and grow and uh, make uh, part of the uh, comments section, let us know how we're doing, what uh, we could do better. As always, hope you guys are being safe out there. And uh, if you see me out there, always say hi and say cheers. All right. Hope you're doing well. Be safe. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.